Okay, so today we're going to really like dive deep into some AI projects. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That are having a big social impact. Cool. And looking forward to it. We've got a bunch yeah. of sources here. You know, we've got stuff from the AI news sites, mm -hmm. uh, the depths of Reddit. Yeah, always a good spot. Uh, even some developer discords where some of that like, you know. Where the magic happens. Where the magic happens, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I guess like let's just jump into it. Okay, let's do it. Um, one that's really like turning heads is this QWQ32B. Have you heard about this one? I have. Yeah, this is really interesting. It's an AI model developed in China. Yeah, and 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 yeah, it's, it's really about... like making waves. Yeah, it's not just keeping up with GPT-4. Right. It's actually outperforming it in some cases. Yeah, like in some really key benchmarks, it's actually exceeding what GPT-4 can do. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So like what what makes this one so special? Well, one of the fascinating things about QWQ is the way it approaches problem solving. It actually switches between English and Chinese internally. Quite. Almost like it's having this conversation with itself to kind of like work through these complex problems. Really? And and the other thing that's really like shaking things up is the fact that it's open source. Oh, wow. So suddenly this incredibly powerful tool is available to basically anyone. So like anybody can use it? Pretty much, yeah. Anyone with the technical know-how can download it and start experimenting with it. That's that's a game changer. It is. It's a huge deal. I, I was reading about how even like Sam Altman, oh yeah, CEO of OpenAI, right, admitted that he was a little like worried about yeah, a little bit spared the the rise of open source models like this. Yeah, I mean, when you have these incredibly powerful models that are suddenly accessible to a much wider range of people, right, it definitely raises some questions for sure. But I think it's also really exciting. Yeah. You know, because imagine what could be possible when you have brilliant minds all over the world who suddenly have access to this kind of technology. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So speaking of pushing boundaries. Okay. Have you seen what World Labs is doing? Oh, yeah. World Labs? They're, they're basically taking... A picture is worth a thousand words. Right. To a whole new level. Yeah, basically they're letting you step inside of a photograph. What? It's pretty wild. How do they do that? So they use this technique called Gaussian splats. Oh, right. And it allows them to transform any 2D image into a 3D environment that you can actually explore. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like you're walking into the picture. That's amazing. And the implications of this are just huge, you know? Right. You can think about things like virtual tourism, mm -hmm. you know, being able to recreate historical sites. Wow. Even architects being able to kind of experience their designs in a whole new way. That's really cool. Yeah, it's really pushing the boundaries. And investors are definitely like taking notice. Oh yeah, for sure. They just got like $230 million in funding. Yeah, they're not messing around. Wow. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. It really makes you wonder what like everyday life is going to look like once this technology becomes more widely available. I know, right? It's pretty mind blowing. So some people are stepping into these like virtual worlds. Mm -hmm. Um. But others are using AI to create, like, some pretty mind-blowing experiences in the real world. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Um, have you heard about what bands like Bring Me the Horizon are doing with Stream Diffusion? Yeah, I have. Yeah. They're using AI to generate these crazy visuals live during their concerts. Yeah, I saw that. It's pretty wild. I think it's like 90 frames per second or something. Something like that. Yeah, it's like super high frame rate and it's all generated in real time. It's like totally unique every time. Pretty much, yeah. It's responding to the music and the energy of the crowd. Wow. But you know, it's interesting because there's definitely a debate going on. Really? About whether AI generated visuals can really capture the same energy and emotion as like a human VJ. Right, so like, does it feel the same? Yeah. Does it have that same like organic feel or is there something missing? Interesting. Yeah, it's a good question. It's like anything new, yeah. right? Some people embrace it. Right. Some people are a little more hesitant. Totally. But it's definitely like pushing the boundaries of what's possible in live entertainment. For sure. Totally. It's a really exciting time to be seeing what people are doing with this stuff. And speaking of pushing boundaries. Okay. Um, there's this tool called Notebook LM. Oh, yeah. Notebook LS. Just making some big waves for its ability to help people create all kinds of things. Like what? Like from podcasts okay. to like intricate fantasy worlds. Wow. Like I read about someone using it to make a podcast about a German Little League team right. that was going to the World Series. That's cool. Yeah. So it's like yeah. 
you know, AI is really making these like creative tools accessible to anybody with a story to tell. Totally. And and what's impressive is that it's not just spitting out like generic content. It's actually helping people take their ideas and shape them into something really unique. So it's like more of a collaboration. Yeah, it's more like a brainstorming partner. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So how's it different from Gen FM? Oh, yeah. So Gen FM is another tool that's kind of in the same space. Okay. And it's being marketed as like a way to create smart podcasts using AI. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, it can help with everything from scripting to audio editing. Oh, that's... It's like having a whole production team in one program. Really? Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Wow. So you think they're both kind of approaching this from different angles? Yeah, I think so. So one is like more about creative control. Right. And the other one's like more about automation and efficiency. Yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. It'll be interesting to see how they both like evolve. Yeah, for sure. So I'm seeing a real theme here. What's that? Like AI tools are becoming more powerful mm -hmm. and accessible. And it's really allowing people to do things that they might not have been able to do before. Totally. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a really exciting time to be following this stuff. So what does this all mean for like the bigger picture? Oh, that's a good question. Like how is AI changing the way we interact with information right create art mm -hmm. and even experience the world around us i mean that's the big question isn't it Ugh. and honestly there's no easy answers right but it's something that we definitely need to be thinking about for sure because it's happening whether we like it or not that's true and i think the more we can understand about how ai is evolving and what the potential impacts are right the better equipped we'll be to navigate this new landscape yeah and and maybe even shape it in a way that benefits everyone exactly cool all right yeah. let's uh let's take a quick break and then we'll come back and we'll dive into some of those bigger questions about the future of work and the skills that we're all going to need to thrive in this like ai driven world that's good i'm looking forward to it cool me too yeah so it's fascinating to think about how these ai tools are kind of changing the creative landscape yeah but it also makes you wonder about that like the bigger picture bigger picture yeah yeah what happens to jobs in traditional industries as AI gets even more sophisticated? That's the million dollar question, right? Right. And there aren't any easy answers. Yeah. It's like yeah. exciting and scary at the same time. It is. It's a very strange mix of emotions Nick's because joking. on one hand, yeah. you can see how AI could free us from like uh, all these repetitive tasks. Yeah. And maybe even create entirely new job categories that we can't even imagine yet. Right, like things we haven't even thought of. Exactly. But then like the other side of it is yeah. that fear. That... Like mass unemployment. Yeah. yeah, people feeling like their skills are becoming obsolete. Right. And that's a valid concern. It is. It is. And it's not just about blue collar jobs either. Right. We're seeing AI make inroads into like law oh yeah medicine mm, wow. even creative writing that's kind of scary it is it's a little bit unsettling yeah. i think the key is going to be adaptability okay and a focus on developing skills that complement ai rather than trying to compete with it so like what kinds of skills well things like critical thinking okay problem solving mm -hmm. emotional intelligence yeah. essentially the things that make us uniquely human right so it's not about like yeah trying to become a robot ourselves exactly yeah. it's about figuring out how to work alongside these ai tools right in a way that leverages our strengths and theirs so like a partnership almost yeah exactly cool. like imagine doctors using ai to analyze medical spans okay to identify potential issues but then relying on their own expertise and patient interaction skills right. to actually make the final diagnosis and treatment plan. That makes sense. Yeah, so it's not about jobs necessarily disappearing altogether. Okay. It's more about them evolving. Right, so like kind of changing with the times. Exactly. And it's not just like individual workers who need to adapt, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. businesses and governments have a role to play too. Absolutely. Like what kinds of things? Well, things like investing in retraining programs, okay. creating social safety nets for people who are displaced, mm. and ensuring that AI development is guided by like ethical considerations. Right. So we don't end up with like yeah. Skynet or something. Exactly. Systems. We want to make sure that this is a force for good in the world. Yeah, for sure. It sounds like a massive collaborative effort is going to be needed to kind of navigate this shift successfully. Totally. But let's not forget that AI's impact goes beyond just the workplace. 
we're already seeing it change how we experience and create culture. Oh yeah, for sure. Like think about the music industry. Oh. Okay. AI is being used to compose original scores. Wow. Remaster classic recordings. That's cool. Even personalized listening experiences based on individual preferences. Oh wow. So like yeah. a custom soundtrack for your life? Pretty much. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And what about the art world? Oh, yeah. I've seen some Yeah crazy stuff yeah like incredibly realistic paintings yeah created entirely by ai mm -hmm. there are even platforms where you can collaborate with ai to like compose music really? or write poetry wow it really challenges our traditional notions of authorship and creativity it does it's like yeah. what does it even mean to be an artist anymore that's a good question when a machine can create something that's like right just as beautiful or moving yeah it's a very philosophical question it is but I think it also opens up these incredible new possibilities for artistic expression. All right. So maybe it's not about like yeah. replacing human artists. Exactly. But like giving them new tools to work with. Yeah. And new ways to collaborate right. and explore their creativity. I wonder if someday we'll have like museums. Oh, yeah. Dedicated solely to AI generated art. I could definitely see that happening. But it's yeah. like a whole new genre of art is emerging. Totally. And it's not just about creating new forms of art either. Okay. AI is also being used to preserve and understand existing cultural heritage. Oh, wow. Like, imagine using AI to restore damaged frescoes Wait. or decipher ancient texts. That's really cool. Yeah, the potential for historical research and cultural preservation is just immense. And so it's like AI is becoming this bridge between yeah. the past, present, and future of human culture. That's a beautiful way to put it. But as with any powerful tool, right? Yeah, there are potential downsides to consider. For sure. Like, does the rise of AI-generated content risk devaluing human creativity? It's a valid concern. I think it's important to remember that art is ultimately about communication okay. and emotional resonance. Mm. Whether a piece of art was created by a human hand or an algorithm, right? doesn't necessarily change its ability to move us or challenge our perspectives. So it's like the origin of the art doesn't matter as much as the impact it has. Exactly. But will people still value human creativity if AI can produce similar results more efficiently? That's the question, isn't it? Yeah. I believe they will. Oh, I think yeah. there's something inherently special about the human touch. Right. The imperfections. Yeah. The raw emotion that comes through in our creations. Right. It's like the soul of the artist. Exactly. It's about the story behind the art. Mm -hmm. The artist's journey. Yeah. The unique perspective they bring to the world. I think it's something that AI can't really replicate. I agree. Yeah. At least not yet. So it's not about fearing the rise of the machines. Yeah. It's about finding ways to collaborate with them. Use their strengths to enhance her own creativity. Mm -hmm. Recognize that AI is a tool. Right. Like any tool, it can be used for good or ill. Yeah. The choice ultimately lies with us. Right. It's up to us to decide how we want to use it. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. We've only just scratched the surface here. Yeah. What, what What's on the horizon that like really has you excited? Oh, man. So many things. Yeah. But one thing that's both fascinating and a little bit daunting okay. is this push towards artificial general intelligence. Oh, yeah. I've heard that term AGI. Yeah, AGI. It's kind of like... It sounds very sci-fi. It does, right? That's really something that's achievable. It's a long-term goal. Okay. And there's a lot of debate about whether it's even possible. But yeah, yeah. we are seeing progress towards AI systems that can handle a wider range of tasks. So instead of like teaching an AI to play chess, right. it's more like teaching it to learn. Exactly. It's like teaching it how to learn. Wow. Almost like a human brain. So what could we do with that? I mean, the potential implications are mind-boggling. Yeah. Imagine AI that can help us solve complex scientific problems, mm -hmm. design personalized education programs, wow. or even predict and prevent natural disasters. That would be amazing. It would be incredible. W what about the more like practical side of things? Okay. Like, are there any advancements in AI hardware? Oh, absolutely. Okay. The development of specialized AI chips, okay. sometimes called AI accelerators, is a game changer. So they're specifically designed for AI. Yeah, they're designed to handle the massive computational demands of AI. So it's like having a brain specifically built for AI. Yeah, that's a great analogy. So what does that mean for like the speed of progress? 
Well, this increased efficiency means that we can train larger, more complex AI models, okay. which leads to even more impressive breakthroughs. So it's like a snowball effect. Kind of, yeah. Okay. And as these chips become more affordable, mm. they'll make AI technology accessible to a wider range of businesses and individuals. So it's not just going to be like the big tech companies. Right. It's going to become more democratized. That's really cool. Yeah, it's really exciting. So AI is going to be more integrated into our daily lives. Oh, Absolutely. In ways we can't even imagine. Yeah. I mean, imagine a world where your smartphone can provide real-time language translation. Wow. Your car can navigate complex traffic situations autonomously. Mm. And your doctor can access, like, a wealth of medical knowledge instantly. Wow. To make more informed diagnoses. That sounds amazing. It does, right? It's like science fiction becoming reality. It is. It's really wild to think about. But with any, like, major technological advancement... Mm -hmm. There's going to be challenges and opportunities. <laughs> so how do we make sure that we're like yeah. using this technology responsibly? I think it's crucial that we approach the development and deployment of AI with a sense of responsibility okay. and foresight. Mm. We need to consider the ethical implications, right. address potential biases, yeah. and ensure that AI is used to benefit all of humanity. It's a tall order. It is. But it's important. It's essential. This deep dive has really opened my eyes yeah. to like the power of AI. To the transformative power, yeah. It's going to reshape our world in ways we can't even fully grasp yet. And the most exciting thing yeah. is that this is still just the beginning. Really? The future of AI is being written right now. Wow. And it's up to all of us to ensure that it's a future that benefits all of humanity. Well said. Thanks. It's been amazing exploring these cutting edge AI projects. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And contemplating like the broader implications mm -hmm. for our world. Yeah, for sure. And I encourage everyone listening to like yeah. keep learning, mm -hmm. stay engaged in the conversation. Right. Maybe even explore some of these AI tools for yourself. Absolutely. It's a rapidly evolving field. It is. The possibilities are truly limitless. They are. Thanks for joining us. It's been a pleasure. On this deep dive into the world of AI. Gentlemen.